been ranked. And that was years ago at this point. That was in like 2019. But we're out here, Noku. Still it's a new out here, era. What we can do going up against WebJP, another one of Tri-State's finest right here. The former Lucas player extraordinaire now rocking it out here with the Sheik. And every time I see his Sheik, I really love what he puts down because you can see that he's very fluent with his combos, already putting out 46% with that Bouncing Fish. And what, what about another? What if we did it again? And I think that was too high of an upbeat, but he's, I think he might have saved him. Woo! He went for that? I think he used the first upbeat to try to win box him off, but he's like, you know what? I got the actual hit. What, what if I comboed out of it? That'd Bro. be insane, wouldn't it? Oh my goodness gracious. If there's anything you know about WebJP from watching the former Lucas player is that you know that his punishes are crisp and golden. This is a they lab monster. There. We got and on screen, ladies and gentlemen. Still no percent taken. This neutral is actually going insane. I think I think Sheik has some of the best neutral in this game. Already catching another bouncing fish. The accuracy has been near, if not 100% on these. Yeah, Sheik is still the crazy neutral monster that she once was. I mean, despite not, you know, being the former beast that she was at the top of the last game for sure. Right. This character can still absolutely do it to you, man. I mean, like, the kill confirms a little bit harder. You know, in terms of raw kill power, it's not there. But how much does that matter when you can't touch her? Right. What does that matter, you know? I think that's why we're seeing the Ivy Sword. I think we're trying to see some Razor Leaves being thrown in that little short hop area. But once, I, once she gets on top of you, Ivy Sword has a much harder time than Squirtle does because Squirtle has that frame three Nair, of course. But now you get the Choco game and you're going to allow, unfortunately, Web forward Noku that Web JP is going to safely land. But we keep up the pressure. The back air up is not going to hit just yet. 136%. you got to hang on to this stock if you want any light of, see, of winning game number one. That's a trouble with Razor oh, Leaf. Right there. We live. Right there. That's the trouble with Razor leaving at the mid range against a character like this. You're going to mm -hmm. give this character needles at this percent. You know what she's looking for. Looking for that needle bouncing fish, baby. Come on, it's 2022. I love that sliding F tilt to catch landings. It's so it's so safe because you can just stand at a region where they're not going to burst at you. Yeah. But you can just cover the landing, and it almost never like soft spots on that F tilt. So you can just get like raw kills. Catching the roll in with a back air, not just yet. 183%, pretty run of the mill, but gets the side B. What pinpoint accuracy to find that? It already on stock number three and only taking 95%. And there goes this Squirtle right off stage as soon as he spawns. That grenade to kill the Charizard was at like the perfect height where it was it was high enough to, to force you low, but low enough to the point where like right. there's really nowhere to go where like besides getting hit by it. You know what I mean? So that was very well positioned by WebJP, who has not lost a single stock in this game number one so far, catching the scoop off of the Pokemon change and still edge guarding Noku, hanging on for dear life right now. I think the biggest part about Web's combo game that's really going unnoticed here is that, oh, you got that? You're nuts. Dude. It's, I, I was just about to say it. He's forcing so many switches. Yeah. Because, like, if you want to get an, out of any single combo, you have to either air dodge or switch. Sheik's going to be on top of that, so you'd rather switch and use the frame one option. But every single time, you're forcing yourself off of Squirtle, off of Ivysaur, and into a character that gets comboed even harder. And even there, you saw you got the switch off of Squirtle. Ivysaur, he's like, all right, clean up. Let me pick that up. Dude, switches get stitches, my man, and stitches oh get threaded God. by needles. That's the only thing see I'm this seeing. Again. Yeah, this but is please, insane. I'm going to shut up for this one. Ugh. Ah! Got him. God, with no damage taken, my goodness. Mm -hmm. We're going to run it back right into game two. PS2 once again. That was a fluke, my man. Yeah, I got three stock. I know the adjustments. I don't need a different stage this time around. All I got to do is make sure I don't get hit by these burst options as much. Don't give Sheik too much time to be able to charge needles for free. It might hang off on the Razor Leaf a little bit. Play a more aggro game with the Squirtle to at least start it out. Because this is more percent that we saw on Sheik before the stock was gone right. in the first game. So already there's some adaptation happening here. Absolutely, and the way this is gonna go is Sheik's gonna win neutral more often. I think Squirtle's gonna go toe to toe with her. But when Squirtle gets these hits, he needs to convert. He needs to get this 69% that he already got. Because Sheik is just gonna like take this and yeah, you're gonna eat this damage. You're gonna have to say, all right, damage is up there. I'm gonna get reset and I'm gonna try to win neutral against Sheik. And what you need to do is you need to start to try to get him out of that short hop range. You gotta make him uncomfortable. You gotta start parrying. And if he starts landing it with these forward airs, it's gonna be really, really tough because that's when the pressure starts to mount. If he actually bouncing fish there, I think the momentum might have grabbed him all the way to the blast zone, but he does make it back just in time. 80% on web, climbing to 88, but in the corner, he's gonna find his way out, actually. That was really good. He got him! Classic. That's the classic, you know, dare to the up air right through the platform this time around. That's the kind of stuff that you can only get if you learn how to play the proper neutral against Sheik, which is right. hard enough as it is. Like you mm -hmm. mentioned, it's staying out of that burst range and being knowing no what jump. is your best option to counter Sheik in oh. the mid range. Up close, you're going to eat a fair pretty much every Ranger. time if your character doesn't have the frame data to contest it. 
Yeah, this Charizard is going to have a really hard time. I mean, especially since uh, WebJP came off of playing uh, Beast at the grand finale circuit of, I think, Fusion. Mm -hmm. uh, he won that set, and he did it pretty convincing. It wasn't super convincingly, but he did it. He did very well against uh, Beast. And now he's kind of it kind of carries over. You see that he's just not losing neutral against Charizard. But what does it matter if you can't take the stock? What are you doing, man? Oh, that yo, that, yo, oh, no, that no, almost no, worked. No, hey, no. man, uh, <laughs> don't knock it till you try it. I, that, that seems like the kind of thing that you should very much knock before you try, but WebJP doesn't do that. My friend, we got rolls out here. Oh, the back throw. He catches the jump with the back air, and you are dead at 10%, oh, my friend. My sweet holy moly. That's a rage monster for sure. We've seen all sorts of stocks taken. I remember the last time that I was able to cast at the great, uh, uh, the great monthly reward, my friend. I've seen that move. I've seen Uppy oh. kill at zero mm -hmm. for sure. We already know what this character can do. And Sheik, neutral monster, but as light as they come. Right, and the problem with that is against Sheik against characters that like really benefit off rage, mm -hmm. that can just happen. Like against Ken, like against the heavies. You don't get that kill, they'll he'll, they'll kill you at 10. It's just kind of the way it is. Yep. 53% in climbing though, quite literally with that waterfall, but gets a fair off the ledge. I think he's starting to call out these jumps more on ledge. You see that? He's, mm -hmm. He was waiting for it. Actually, I like what Webb has been doing with these down airs, like just to stall, just to mess up the parry timing. And Noku actually like scouted that out that time when caught him with a nair, but it's not gonna matter because you're gonna be put into the blender anyway. 50, 62%, gets mm -hmm. another up air for his troubles, catches the switch, maybe? Oh, he had the air dodge read, but he didn't turn around with the grab in time, And I love what JP like trying to like utilize reversing the up air as well to catch the D eye on uh, Noku slipping this mm -hmm. time around. And I gotta say on the part of Noku, like, you know, beyond being able to catch the options from the ledge, he's not really doing that at low percent. Like, he's still waiting to get Sheik to a percent, like, beyond the bread and butters to the point where right. they can catch him later because he knows that there's not much true he could get off that. If you force Sheik into a ledge trap Got situation, him. as that, uh, that platform drop up air to the up smash is gonna take the stock, <laughs> Those situations might just be reversed quicker than you think. I legitimately forgot that Noku had an entire stock lead. I thought, I'm like, all right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, that wasn't it. No, no red lightning. We got you know, another. No, the no squirtle's squirtle right going to come now. back out. We're good. All right, the there nair. There was a red lightning, not the full screen, though. We're good. Bomb, bomb. I love it. Cheek up tilt has got to be my favorite move out of her kit. It just mm -hmm. so sad. It. It's like, bow, bow, anything you want. It looks so cool, too. It's like just the middle of combos as well, like the acrobatic nature of it. It's like snakes. You just do the standing splits. Have you ever seen somebody do the standing splits? Never seen someone do that in That's real life. That's insane. At the very least, not that fast. I tried to do that. You got to call my chiropractor real fast. <laughs> There you go. Needles does not want to do a bad approach out to right now. There's 122%. What's the ledge trap? No, nope. oh, F-Tilt actually I committing. Was, I thought he was going to grab him and forward throw him. Same, but, yeah. yeah. Uh, but like just committing hard with the up smash right there. If anything, I thought that would have been an oh, F-Tilt instead. Not waiting for the switch that time around, though. Tries to catch a parry timing. He's going to get thrown right back off stage. Back or like doing a lot. A back throw a lot more knockback than I thought it would, but. Razor Leaf forcing What's the low. option? Razor Leaf, maybe. Not this time. Did it already the first time. Knew that WebJP was probably going to expect it. Just hanging back at the mid range, trying to get just a raw back air or forward air. WebJP, of course, expecting it, able to get the parry back this time around. That Committing was, a little bit. Yep. That was a fantastic fight out of the corner, though. You saw he didn't like super like into into uh, Squirtle and let, until he got the parry, and then he burst out with a dash tag. And now we're right back to neutral and right back to even. Does he find the kill here? Oh, he gets clipped by the top of the back air swing. And that's going to be game number two. Yeah, Noku got a, such a huge lead. Webb did a great job of bringing it back. But since Noku got such a, such an early kill, he was able to work around and still, yeah. even though he was losing neutral, even though he was climbing in percent, you still have Charizard on your side. That's, mm -hmm. that, that's a recipe for game number three. Yeah, it, it, it's not every day that you can say you play a character that is able to counterpick you mid-game. <laughs> but this one can, you know. And that move, man, Charizard's back here, that is a literal and metaphorical U-turn. Because the way that that move angles, my friend, you think you're safe from it when you go low, but if you try, it's now when you go low, when you go crazy. high. It's crazy, he'll be, like, you can, you can run off the platform and back air, and he'll be on the ground, but the top of the hit will just still hit you. I'm just like, <laughs> sure, man. You Call got, that shit you got the Hagen does, because it scoops. Oh my god. Just saying, man, it's, it does. It absolutely does. It's like reminiscent of Wolf Up Smash in that regard. Obviously, it's just, in the air, but the you know. Just the full arm length, just like, the, you put it, it's all in your shoulders, just all scoop right There's there. There's any move that you can say is a smash attack in the air, it's that one. But right now, we're on Bowser the turtle characters, air, and right. Bowser back air as well. <laughs> of course. That move's a little more direct, but you, you get what I'm trying to the say. The thing is Point frame is. nine. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> Anyways, back to the I, I can't. I can't even count that high. <laughs> Beautiful, though. WebJP forcing off this time around. Only about a 40%, 50%, I should say, differential between these two players right now. Web opening up strong to right back oh, to PS2 for the last there. game. 
Yeah, you kind of get a little bit hasty with those uh, Ivysaur, da uh, Ivysaur edge guards. You saw it at the end of game number two. He was really trying to kill uh, Webb off the ledge just to end the game. But uh, it's very hard to edge guard Sheik. You have to have like a very long la lasting move to get uh, to two frame that character. And through this ledge guard over and over again, finally reversing it is Noku. But before he could, he forced he was forced to switch twice. Out of like two bouncing fish confirms. Like he like he got all the way back to Ivysaur. Yeah, and he had to. He, I don't even I don't even think he wanted to play Ivysaur right now. Look at his percent for one. Doesn't have the time to switch right now for sure, but you know, doesn't have to. He's gonna run right in with the neutral air razor leaf. What is the ledge trap? Catches the jump, but unfortunately Ooh. not the angle properly enough. Just mistimes it narrowly is no coup. He went for that, you're wow. Okay. <laughs> a little bit cheeky. I yep. feel like I feel like you showed your hand a little bit too early. Yeah. Down throw. Especially no, the fact that he was above hundred percent, like you know, re-grabbing the ledge against uh grenade right there. That's already scary enough because you have less legend vulnerability that time around. Was that a re It was maybe? No, it wasn't a re-grab, it was just oh. the fact that he was at high enough of a percent where if he didn't time that right. Right, but he was off stage for a really long time, so I think that, yeah. that helps him with the invincibility. Yeah, that's actually true, you're right. I'm not gonna do it though. Mm -hmm. So what I like about the Ivysaur at these like mid-long percents and why uh, he made such a comeback is because it slows down the pace of the game supernaturally. As Squirtle, you're playing Bing Bang Boom. As Charizard, they're, they're Bing Bang Booming on you. It's yeah. like you don't get a choice. When you're Ivysaur, you have the range advantage, you have a projectile that can do super well, but the problem is that character is so easy to combo for Sheik, it's unbelievable. Mm -hmm. So you're kind of having to play the game of can I keep pace or can I control the pace with Sheik? I feel like Webb has been doing that a lot better this set and that's why he's winning this game right now. Mm -hmm. Able to get in right there, forced to switch once again, but still able to tack it all the way up to 46%. No stock loss on the part of WebJP yet. Poke. Nair definitely not setting the way that he wanted him to, for sure, but it's the way that he's going to get as the Charizard is out. We're going to see something to close the stock. and say we would if WebJP just wasn't all over this, all over this Charizard fish. right now. Yeah, but what's the ledge trap here? He's gonna fight his way out of the corner with a Nair. That move is actually extremely good for some reason after the buff when they made it completely safe. Gonna get the needles into the, um, oh, that's it, that's it. On the platform, you're dead. You're Absolutely. so dead. Six lightest character in the game. He, uh, yeah, you're dead. 97% mm -hmm. though, this is still this is still very doable for Noku, especially if you get those correct hits and you got a good amount of rage on you. But what's, he's gonna, yeah, I like the Nair to cover the uh, ledge guard, but what Wes's been doing is he's been like coming up from the ledge very aggressively with needles, with get up attack. And I feel like Noku's been trying to catch that timing, but like Webb just waits a little bit longer and he'd be like, you should be getting a lot more ledge pressure against Sheik but Webb's just doing a great job of getting out of it. Mm -hmm. And the coverage on top of that, like grenade into the rising neutral air this time around. Lingering hitbox of the Vanish on the way back up, able to just narrowly force WebJP's hand right back into it. Over 100% differential between these two players right now, but that could turn Ooh. around in an instant if you got the fire tail on oh, the back swing. I thought, I thought he was gonna flare blitz. Me too. Yeah, once you get the Nair into the tech chase, I thought you were just gonna flare blitz, so it would've been really good. But, oh, he gets, it. He gets out of that. That's Beautiful it. Beautiful like, timing. Oh my god, he actually faked him out and went on the platform. Now, Webb obviously thinking that he was going to have to land on top of him and get the down smash, but 165%, and this game is even. Yeah. It, 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 I hate to say it, this game's even. That Becker is almost going to do it from a short hop, mind you. That was short hop. Yeah. And this ain't piece art on top of that, my friend. We're not seeing too many flare blitz. Instead, we're just seeing good old bread and butter Aww. ledge trapping. I feel like Hank Hill, just like, ah. That's how you know it's a good set. It's gas, one might say. Mm -hmm. Propane. A propane. <laughs> and that's going to do it, though. Down smash on the other side of the level. Mm -hmm. WebJP one stock away from advancing further on in the winner's side of the bracket. Down smash, good option for coverage, though. What is the ledge trap part from Noku sticking with the Squirtle? Trying to catch it down tilt, but that's a burst option from Sheik by the oh, ledge. The it should be a lot of damage. Air? That, that's like super like weird to do, like a turnaround full hop up air, that's mm -hmm. insane. But what Sheik gets from getting out of a stock lead is so insane. When you're playing like Fox, you're playing like Squirtle, you're playing like Sheik. Those characters can control neutral, but also since you have a stock lead, you can play at your own pace. You can pick the interactions that you want to fight in. And unfortunately, he's on the ledge here, but he's already racked up 63% going to the ledge. Once he gets back to neutral, this is going to be his main prerogative, is getting back to the center or like reversing situation here. He can just choose to chill out and just say, I'm not taking any risks, only a down tilt. Yeah, just catch the landing with a backer. Get him, he's yep. dead. That's the game you play when you have a lead as a neutral heavy character. It's insane. Mm -hmm. For sure. And even if that missed, you know, like that wouldn't have even been that big of a it's... committal. Would have been able to retreat back to the stage for sure. These grabs are so good. They're getting a lot because Noku, and like when you're playing against like PT, for example, you're dead. You're dead again. Bye bye. Yep. This but, is where it gets scary. Right. We've seen this. We've seen this situation before. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we've seen it Get plenty it. of times. What do you do? I think you tried to attack cancel. I think so. 
Air dodge back to stage. Gonna get grabbed anyway. What's the landing option? You're gonna get got. Unfortunate. That was yeah. really good positioning on Webb to put himself on the platform and cover that entire area with uh, needles. So his options are either go to ledge or get hit and die. Mm -hmm. Really good stuff coming out from Webb. And really good stuff coming out from Noku. He made that game two really close and he kept uh, he kept up game three. It's just that Webb just out, out neutral that almost that entire time and that's just kind of how it happens. Yeah, man, and I don't even know if that was a whiff slingshot attempt or something. More so mm. an attack cancel, like you mentioned. That could have been it. Because if it was, um, if that was slingshot, I think definitely a back air would have been true there on top of that. Not right. that it would have killed from there, obviously, but it would have been, you know, the true damage at that percent. And then one more would have killed if he was able to get him close enough to the blast zone. Because you knew the Charizard wasn't going anywhere no, in it, that no, scenario. You know it wasn't. 134%. Yes, let me bring out my Squirtle. <laughs> Maybe down throw will kill him. I need him to now. rack up damage, bro. He's not high enough percent. I need damage, bro. No. I mean that I mean no. I feel like you the Squirtle's okay just as long as it's not the Ivysaur. Yeah, cuz that would have been like uh some that though the options would have been just laggier enough to the mm -hmm. point where you were you were not going to be able to contest up with Sheik right there, especially like, one that doesn't have to approach you since they have the lead, you At know? least with Squirtle like if you take a risk, sometimes it's like not risky enough for Sheik to like actually go and get that kill. But when you're Ivysaur, when you commit hard, it's over for that 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 situation would just be over. Yep. Same thing with Charizard to a degree, but if he actually connects with that, he could have like converted super hard, and I think he had that with that back air. But unfortunately, flubbing the input, and I don't blame him either. A game three against WebJP is just like your fingers are moving at the speed of light, and if yeah. they move a little bit in the wrong direction, that'll happen. Yep. Speed of dark, the other direction for sure. You're definitely not going to want that. It's just Sonic rough. Heroes. Beyond that, oh, I, oh, that's Team Dark. That's Team Dark, my guy. Right. I actually, that's the one, that's like the one Sonic game I haven't played. That and three. Oh, for real? Yeah. Heroes is not bad. People say that game is bad. It's not. It, it's like the it's like the hidden gem among the community for everybody. I think so. Maybe. I think I think it's got one of the best soundtracks. My favorite. My yes. favorite song. What I'm made of. Team Chaotix also the second up there. And Team oh. Chaotix coming back as well. You know, like they were like you know, those characters. Did they get confirmed for Frontiers? So uh, no. I know, I know, Big Wait, did. So, uh, Big did what? Big, Big, Big got confirmed for Frontiers. Big, Big the cat is going to be in Sonic Frontiers. Pretty sure. Uh, who Delta Force? De Wait, hold on. Who Delta Force versus who? Sola. Sola. Yes. Here, oh, all right. Shout out to Spoon, my guy. Oh my God. He, he goes by many tags, but my boy Spoon, um, I'm 25-0 and 0 on him in bracket. I have never lost to him. Taught me the hero matchup really well. He's actually very good. Something he avoids that most heroes tend to fall into is that they get kind of full hop heavy. They're like, all right, I got to swing this sword. And it's very good because, you know, all the stuff is super safe. And it's like, that's where you have to be playing to, like, actually get your aerials out. Because your aerials are yeah. insanely, insanely slow. But... When it comes down to it, where heroes tend to really like to play is directly